Hello my friends, Bob Lee here. Uh, the last past couple of weeks I have been making a flag memorial box and I want to show you how I made it. Well, I had to build this jig today. Slides along the fence and it's square with the blade up and with the push. Where the it's also square this way too. One of the new toys I bought myself was this little uh, digital gauge which is going to allow me to set my angle of my saw a little bit more precise. And what I'm going for is a 22.5 angle for this uh, little bit interesting to get the... Uh, saw to dial in at that exact but I can do it I just got to play with it there it is but you can see I already I forgot to uh, tape this one little portion so the projects in the background there but I wanted to see how I wanted to show you how I got to the uh, 22 degree angle the old angle device that I used to use is that one there and unfortunately it's a little out so that's why I use the one I have or the new one now okay what I'm doing is I I built this jig a while back it's just a jig that slides along my fence so that I can cut straights or angles and what the saw blade is set for right now is around 22 and a half degrees because the wood you see beyond I've got to do some angle cutting so I'm gonna do some experimenting now with some other pieces of wood and uh, we're gonna go for it then once I figure it all out Okay, what I'm doing is I've got the uh, memory box set up because I'm going to put splines in these joints to uh, reinforce the joints. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to run it through the table saw off camera. And uh, then we'll proceed from there. Okay, I hot. Uh, glued some uh, blocks on here for the clamps to grab hold of and I put some shims in that joint for right now eventually I'm going to put uh, some cross shims in these joints also and then I'll just sand everything clean it all up and fix any little joints that I need to fill in or something because I'm not the best or the greatest woodworker, but my joints ain't too bad. I'm happy with them. This block I got on backwards, but it's working. Or I guess it's the uh, this block here. Okay, what I've done is I've run a chamfer around this inside edge right here so that I can put on a backboard for this uh, flag display. And I'm just going to leave the corners rounded off a little bit. 
because I can cut the plywood to match those round radiuses. Make a nice little finished back. Okay, I've got uh, some stain on it. I'm just darkening it up a little bit because uh, I wanted the wood to match kind of everywhere because I had a little bit of light sap wood in there. But it, it came out really pretty. Well, there it is. I managed to get it all done. The back is drying, but the glass is in it. And I put it up on a little platform, give it a little bit different look. And it's made of cherry. I'm pretty pleased with the corners. They've all come out real nice. The lower ones are 22 and the other one is 45. And the 22s were a little bit interesting to make. Well, thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please subscribe. Leave a comment.